morning, traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Wednesday, February 17th. Well, we had another nice day of follow through from Friday. Uh, is the bottom in? And that's the big question. I get a lot of emails. Mark, is the bottom in? Do you know? No one really knows. Uh, just based on what we're looking at a technical analysis off the charts, uh, I do not feel the bottom is in as of yet because we haven't had that capitulation to the downside as far as fear is concerned. We still have um, uh, average true range elevated. The VIX, not as quite as elevated, but still within the 25-ish area. I'll show that to you as well. But what we do look at and we keep saying that we have that seasonal inventory building. Crude oil comes in around March or April, right? That's going to – that after that, we start getting a little bit of a draw. The refineries start to uh, – um, they shut down in their maintenance, and then they start opening up their refinery plants to start refining, obviously, oil products, right? So that's going to take away from a lot of that crude that we have that built. So I do think that that is going to be an area, March, April, where we would um, start looking for some long ideas. Now, I have some long plays, some sectors that I want to show you that I'm really starting to like, okay? Beaten down, um, but I'm really liking a lot of them. Some of them I'm just going to mention. Um, obviously, the crude oil, I love crude oil. I like the oil stocks better than the, than the commodity itself. That doesn't mean that you can't that doesn't mean that you can't um, buy the contract or buy USO, but oil, I think oil needs to carve out uh, a, a bigger bottom. This is not even close. You can see that here. Uh, we're not even, uh, you know, you had a few days, you had a double bottom, you had a lower high from this previous high, uh, from this previous low, lower low, excuse me, and uh, and higher and lower lows and lower highs this way. So this is not a good sign that crude can't even bounce after Saudi said that and the Russians agreed to a uh, production freeze. Um, so. I, that that word freeze wasn't enough to rally oil, saying that okay, we're going to halt production and for for an indefinite in, in time. That would have been better than saying, "Well, oh, we're just going to freeze it for now," meaning that it's only temporary. So that's why crude didn't really do too much, other than they spiked up and sold off. Uh, that's my um, um, my my uh, um, outlook on what had happened yesterday in crude. All right, so now I want to show you um, the indicators. So you just show you a couple of why we're still elevated and why I think 3740 is still going to be the uh, going to be the area, or at least around here even. We're still at around 25-ish. We, we rallied at the 3040 on that last uh, spike last week. I do think that we should get up there at least one more time. Uh, and then I think really between that, crude oil basin and equities really selling off and taking out that capitulatory uh, low, that's where I feel that the markets will, will bottom. I don't think we've bottomed yet. Now, I could be totally wrong. Obviously, that's what trading is about. But um, that's my assumption from the charts, what I'm seeing, okay? I just don't think there was enough fear like we did have here. You see we had this area here? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that big spike. That's what I'm looking for as far as fear is concerned. Now, spiders average true range. You can see we're still highly elevated. We've been holding true through all of February just about. So um, that tells me that we still have fear in the markets. Um, XLU still holding in there. Um, a lot of the REITs and, and uh, consumer staples still holding true. To, um, to which trend, which is up. So that also tells me that we need uh, these safe haven trades to start selling off, where money comes out of them and back into equities, okay, and the indexes. So that's why I feel that the market is not in as of yet, all right? Now, what I do want to show you is a couple of, um, I want to show you a couple of sectors, what I really like. I'm starting to like the, uh, the home builders. Now, this is really interesting, but you need to look at this and follow this. If you have stock charts, you can go and put lumber. These, this is lumber prices here in the line, and this is the candle charts of the uh, ITB, which is a home construction ETF, which is based on home builders, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Masco, which is sheetrock company, stuff like that, all in one as one big, um, a one big index, which I like. As you can see here, and let me just open this up a little bit right here, you can see how we came off of nice bottom. Does that mean that the bottom is in? Absolutely not. But what I want to start looking for is I want to start looking for some long plays when the market is, when the bottom is in. That way that when you when you get your signal, you're going to know that, okay, now I'm ready to rock and roll here and I want to start looking at some of these uh, sectors and dial into these sectors. You want to get the top five or ten in the ITB, for instance, okay? Um, so numbers came out yesterday. Some real estate numbers came out yesterday. We're really not that great. And they sold off. But also what I want to watch is lumber prices. Uh, you see lumber starts to sell off. Uh, you see the divergence here? We have negative divergence from lumber prices and, and price of the ETB. Sh what happens? Bam, we start to sell off. Okay, and as you can see here, we start selling off yet again. All right? 
Um, so I do think that lumber price is now starting to break back to the upside. We're getting into that seasonal trade of looking to buy the ITB, okay, or any any of the top five components, if you will, uh, in the ITB sector. So I do like the ITB starting to look at that on a regular basis. Now, I also like uh, Lennar, one of my favorite builders. So uh, Lennar being that uh, home builder, and I just want to show you just cleanly just off of price and some of my value areas of resistance. <coughs> you could see here, excuse me, this area needs to be taken out, and that we have a, a really a thin zone. I'll sh I'll show that to you a little bit more once we get um, once we start really looking into these home construction. But I do like um, Lennar, and I like the Toll Brothers. Those are my one of my two favorites um, in the ITB sector. Or you could just buy the index, buy the ITB itself, the ETF. That's that's also another way of playing it. All right. So this is what I'm watching. Also, I'm watching the uh, re real estate. Uh, excuse me, the retail sector which is the REIT, uh, RXT, excuse me, XRT, sorry about that. Um, and as you can see, we have a little bit of positive divergence here as well. And, um, and you know what? It's still early. It's very early. I don't like to be early. I like to be right in the middle, take the meat of the move. We have a little bit of resistance at the 50-day moving average coming in around 41.37. So this is going to need to come out. we got a double bottom here, which is nice. Uh, so let's see if we could take this area out and then start forming new bases. I'm going to like that even more, okay? So not a bad play if you want to start. If you, I'm not a type of, again, I'm not a type, type of trader to get in early, but watch it. It's also um, another good sector within that. And also, w which I don't have here, um, I, the XLK. We have some of these retail, excuse me, um, some of these technology plays, which are actually doing quite well. Again, a double bottom. You can see the repetitive patterns in a lot of these sectors. All right, and then we have um, obviously another area of resistance up here. And these are just something, I'm simple charts I'm just showing you where I'm starting to like a lot of the technology sector as well. Okay, excuse me about that. All right, so um, keep an eye on also the banks and financials. They've gotten beaten down. A couple of the big names I like, obviously, Citibank, JP Morgan, Fifth Third Bank, FITB, Wells Fargo, and Goldman. Those are the ones I'm going to be watching as well going into March, okay? All right, so let's go look at the indexes. As you can see here, three big days up, gap up every day, uh, in, and we just finally tagged the 20. But look at what's happening here. I, I when I look at the when I look at the um, our MACD and our RSI, we're still forming lower lows and lower highs. So yeah, we have a little bit of divergence, positive divergence here. Absolutely, not a question. But lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. You can still see that here. Same thing here, right? So I want to see us break out. I want to see us back test this downtrend line and then shoot up higher. All right, same here. Okay, and then look to see us either we roll or we start tagging some of these upper end of these ranges. Now, this here resistance, I'm going to make this support. Um, so we got support again, back up to 187 and the 182.25, okay? All right, so let's go take a look at um, the IWM. Same thing, IWM, IWM, excuse me, did not get below the 20, uh, still below the 20. All right, nice three-day move up um, off the lows. Uh, so we still need a lot of work, guys. This is not a bottom carving. We're carving out a bottom. It's only three days, and we have gap up each day. I'd rather see something like a sideways consolidation, something like this, you know, um, basin into like a channel and then breaking out of the channel, higher low, and then shooting up higher, right? This is just straight up three days, hit to 20. It's going to need some rest again. So we'll see. See what happens. We're up right now again today, and it, which is fine. If that's the case, and we'll get some into some of these areas here, some of these value areas I point out in a Pro Trader Premier video, um, then we're going to start looking to short the market again. Again, we need clues, though that the market is indeed ready to go down again, all right? Diamond, same thing you can see here, all right? And let's take a look at the transports. Now, the transports, uh, we were looking at this as a bear flag. This is getting to be more now of an uptrend channel, right? Because this is really too long in a tooth for a bear flag, at least for me anyway. You know, that's the, that's the beauty about technical analysis. Look, you, you see what you, th you, f you think, and if you agree, then trade it. You know, I, I, this was a nice bear flag. But now this is getting to be more of a, an uptrend channel. And let's see if this uptrend channel breaks. We just tagged the 50-day moving average. Remember, there's a thin zone in here, too. It, it works the same way going down as it does going up, guys. So uh, let's see if we if this uh, transports has legs. Same thing here with the, um, with, the, uh, um, with the IWM, as you know, as I mentioned to you before. If the IWM can stabilize and we get some movement here to the upside and we really get some good bullish symmetry in a lot of these indexes, Again, lower lows, lower highs, you can see here. So uh, I'm not too crazy the way, this th the way the Qs look at the moment, but it's starting to build some bases, and we're back back above here. This will be uh, support 
again at 97. I'll change that as well tomorrow. And you can see clearly that it needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of this backing and filling. And then once we get that out of the way and we break higher and or lower, then that, that's how we're going to trade it, okay? Guys, hope it helps. It's a little bit long, but I wanted to uh, get out a couple of key points in a couple of these sectors that I'm watching. Have a great day.